All right, Emma, let's kind of start unpacking season five where it ends. You are on a plane to where? Where are you going? I think I was heading back to Boston because I have my whole, I have my manufacturing facility back there. I'm always flying back and forth to check in on that, but I think that's where I was flying then. But yeah, me and Chriselle had probably just come back from, from Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> You also kind of close out the season getting very close to your client, Micah. Yes. <laughs> Does that go anywhere? Has that gone anywhere? You know, me and Micah definitely have something special. We're definitely still enjoying each other's company. Okay. So there, is there a label on it? No labels. There's no labels. I'm enjoying life. Um, we're both extremely busy, you know, me specifically. But I, you know, I'm working 12, 13, 14, 15 hour days some days, you know, and the bi-coastal thing and, and things like that. Obviously, he's not 100% in LA now, so, you know, that makes a difference. I've done the long distance thing for so long that it would be nice to, you know, have a relationship where they're in the same, at least state. <laughs> so there could be something there, but it's kind of, it's, it is what we saw it to be. Exactly. Yeah. You guys are kind of right there. Obviously it's progressed a little bit, you know, we've become closer, but, um, but it's kind of right about there. So we'll see, maybe season six, there will be a label, a ring, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he'll build your family a home. Were you ever able to track one down for your mom? No, I wasn't. So I'm actively looking every single day. But right now, it's, so it's not, it's buying right now is insane. I'll probably wait six months. So I actually, in season six, I might end up purchasing a property. There we go. Something to look forward to. Exactly. Now, season four, your ex was a big talking point. We never... Oh. A good old ex. <laughs> we never saw who he was. His, I, I would imagine of his own choice to not insert himself into that. The internet detectives have done their work, said who they think it to be. Yeah. Um, but this is all between your and Christine's conflicting stories, timelines, alternate facts mm -hmm. about parallel relationships that may or may not have existed actually. Your first lies, I think it's best to call, but sure. <laughs> like I was with him for two and a half years. He proposed to me. He proposed to you? Yes. Oh my God. Did you uh, speak to him at all as that was kind of airing out and getting oh, his yeah. read on the situation? Yeah, I mean, I'm super close with him. We're still close. Of course, you know, when the like fake engagement was mentioned, he was, I mean, it was mind blowing to him, to everyone that that was even thrown out there, you know? It was like, something is not right in the head to make up an engagement. You know, th that's not normal behavior. So I, I don't I don't understand it at all. I would never do that. But people, you know, sometimes get a little crazy. So that's my take on that. He was obviously stunned and it was laughable, to be honest with you. There was some speculation that you had gotten back together with him as season four hit Netflix. Yes, everyone is very infatuated with the fact that we're good friends and, you know, we spend time together and I'm not saying I can never, I would never say that it's out of the realm of possibilities that we could get back together. But right now, you know, I'm single. He actually knows about Micah and, and we have a great friendship. And if it, you know, you know, turns into being something more then so be it. But right now in this very moment, we're just really good friends. Okay. Someone who is not your friend is Christine Quinn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and season five ends with more drama between the two of you, with you uh, revealing this alleged bribery plot because Christine denies that this happened. Of course. So my client called me. He asked if I knew somebody named Christine. I instantly knew it was gonna be bad. And he wanted to let me know that she had offered him money to not work with me anymore and work with her instead. And the quote was, she is out to sabotage you in any way possible. Why do you think of all the agents at the O Group that she would choose you? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. I think, you know, even before coming onto the show, you know, I had to deal with, you know, her harassing me and doing things to me for years, years. And I, that was a huge reason why I was hesitant to jump on the show because clearly I knew it was not gonna go over well. And, you know, I've taken the high road since day one, since I found out about her, I've taken the high road. I'm not engaged, I'm not, and I continue to do that. But at some point it gets to a point where this is not okay behavior and there's right and there's wrong. And 
you know, she's gotten to a point where it's just, it's so bad. You say an associate of Christine's made the offer to this client. Do you know who that was? I do. Okay. But out of respect for my client and the associate, like I just would never, I would never want to, I would never betray anybody and I would never do that. But I mean, I know it's, I mean, it's a hundred percent fast. It's not just like the engagement was a hundred percent false. You know, I don't understand the lies and, and everything else. I don't resonate with that. That's not who I am. That's not how I was raised. Well, she does again, deny that this happened at all, but okay. you have proof that this happened. I Is, have proof it's been, you know, everything's been confirmed. So, I mean, Jason and Mary wouldn't have taken it so serious if, if it wasn't confirmed. Of Is course. that proof you will pull out at the soon to tape reunion? <laughs> You'll have to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of Christine not showing up to her meeting with Mary and Jason? I mean, I think that that says a lot. I mean, like kind of, if you have nothing to hide, show up and you know, say your piece and say what happened. But you know, when you have a guilty conscience and, and you can't, you know, a lie, that's the problem is, is that the truth never changes. But when you're lying, you're doing these awful things, you can't, it's hard to keep up with the story, you know? So it was easier not to show up. Christine has made it known since season one that she will do things for shock value. She will lean into playing the villain for the sake of the show. I think that's a cop out. I think that, you know, it's more, you know, she tries to blame the show and, you know, sometimes blame production. But at the end of the day, nobody is making her do these crazy things. Nobody is, if anything, she doesn't want half of the things to come out. I obviously don't think she's a good person at all. And I am completely different. If there was two people more opposite in the entire world, it would be, you know, her and, and I. So I don't even want to, you know, really tie into her and deal with that. You know, I have so many amazing positive things in my life. So I like to focus on that. There will be some viewers as they watch season five, though, who are Team Christine, who think she did no wrong, who will take the POV that she presents throughout the season that you all have ganged up on her, that you all are the mean girls. What do you say to people who might read the situation in that way? That is definitely for the specific reason that maybe they're a fan, because if you look at facts and you look at the way that these girls, I mean, these girls welcomed me with open arms and they welcome everybody with open arms. So if you really look at the big picture, there's only one person that's trying to hurt everybody. And these girls are not only my friends, my family, but they're really good people. Do you think this is the end for her at the O Group? Obviously I'm not the boss, but it's come to a point where, you know, she's hurt each and every single one of the girls. So. I mean, Jason's gonna have to make that decision, but she's also saying things about, you know, Jason and that he's the boss. So, you know, TBD, I mean, I don't think anyone knows at this point, Jason's gonna make that decision, but you know. Could happen at reunion, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it very well could. <laughs> Christine did offer you an apology but you basically refuse to accept it. Emma, I would love for you to just be like, you know, just be open to me a little bit. Just be open. I mean, I'm not saying it's completely closed off, but I mean, a conversation needs to be had with, you know, some responsibility taken and stuff like that. I'm definitely not shocked that Christine is trying to apologize, but for me to entertain the idea of being friends with Christine, she would literally probably have to die, be reincarnated into a completely different person for me to entertain that. This is actually something that I want to clarify because when she sees me and the other girls, it's always, hi babe, how are you? You look beautiful. Hey girls. Hey. But at the end of the day, I do know all of the negative things that are being done. You know, calling TMZ, calling Page Six, giving them my home address, trying to put out stories that me and my ex are together. Seeing me and my ex out in a group setting, taking pictures of us and giving it to the press. So I don't agree with that. And then definitely don't come at me with like, hey, I want to be friends. Because you're doing really awful things behind closed doors. So you believe her to be the one who's going to these outlets? Oh, I have facts. We ran into her at a restaurant. She was there. We obviously didn't go up to each other, but she was there. All of a sudden, from that day, there's a picture that comes out 
of me, my ex. There's another couple and stuff there too. It's a group study. I wasn't even sitting next to him. That comes out on some, you know, media outlet. It, it's just, you know, it's not, not, there's something not right about the situation. So is there no path forward? Like nothing she could do? No. Okay. No, absolutely nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, no, absolutely nothing. I think she's an awful person. At the end of the day, I've seen too many people get hurt, including myself. Big theme of season five is the Chriselle jason relationship as well. It ends with a very emotional conversation between you and Chriselle, where she explains where things have gone. Has their relationship and its end affected the office at all? You know, I think with any relationship when it ends, it takes time to kind of get back to a place where, you know, you can be friends again and stuff like that, but they've managed to do it better than any single person that I've known. But, you know, obviously I'm probably in season six, you'll see every, you know, things transpire and things like that, but that's just part of life. Yeah. Well, before we get there, we'll get reunion. We might get some receipts. We might see somebody get fired. What do you, are you bracing for impact for any conversations? Are you nervous, excited? What's your mindset? Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, I don't know, I'm definitely not excited about it. <laughs> Like, you know, at the end, I hate drama and anything like anything like that. But I think it will be good for, you know, everyone to kind of get their, you know, stories out and address things that have been brewing for a while. So I think it will be good for not only, you know, the cast and, you know, the girls at the O group and Jason and Brett, but also to the audience to kind of see what's going on behind scenes. And maybe you'll get an opening to what's actually going on, you know? We don't talk too much about press and things like that. Um, and a lot of the things that people are upset about involve press. And so I think the reunion will be a really good place to kind of address a lot of the issues. And, and hopefully, you know, we have some positive things to talk about too, you know, it's not just, but maybe it will, you know, mend friendship and make things better. You never know. I think. Yeah, it can go a million directions. All right, my final question is, did stepping out on that ledge of the pool actually sell you that house? <laughs> <laughs> no, he wants a bit like a bigger whatever house. So that was fine, but the picture was so worth it. So I'm totally <laughs> fine with it. I would do it again. I'm definitely the daredevil of the group, I would say. All maybe right, well, season six, I'm jumping out of a plane. <laughs> yeah, you can, maybe you jump into a broker's open from the sky. I love that idea. <laughs> Oh my God, when, when that happens, you can remember you gave me that idea. I'll take credit for it. <laughs>